Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear midget! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday to you! Are you one? Are you one? Look at me, are you one? Happy like birthday, my love! Hello! You know what to choose yourself! two days ago but let's debrief Mia's birthday was two days ago everything that I imagined everything that I had planned in my head that was it except for the um except for the cooking to entertain I made a banana bread I made some beef um I made some stewed chicken and then I made some rice. I planned to do all of that the night before her birthday. It just did not work out like that after blowing up all the balloons. And when I was looking up DIY balloon arches on TikTok, I saw that everybody had a pump. So, you know, I blew all of them in my mouth. Right now we have uh, the residual number one balloon left on the arch that was hanging over here. And the only reason why that arch is still there is because it is out of the way. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I can tolerate it. But everything else that was on the floor, I used the Sunday, which was yesterday, mm. to clean everything up. Mia is having half of a pear and about half of a banana. So she's tired of the pear because it's like a little bit more hard. I was waiting for them to get soft. Anyway, um, my friends came... Um, Rama came with her two sons. Shanae came with her daughter. Jody with her two daughters. Jules was supposed to come, but she ended up um, picking up a shift in the in the morning time at work. 
because I don't vocalize the time that I bought the tickets for. So um, she's yet to come see us, but we also had seen her the week before. We, we seen her last week or earlier this week, I can't even remember. We went on a walk and we saw her at the nail salon and she came and like spent a little bit of time with us and then, you know, she went home. So that's great. But also, by the time we got home, Sinead didn't come back from the aquarium with us because she had other engagements. The house was full, okay? Which made me realize that the apartment is kind of small. So there was that. And then um, the previous nanny, who's my friend Sharon, she came by too. And she brought me a little gift as well. And it felt so nice to know that um, the friends that you have and the people who um, support you the most in every little thing that you do shows up for your children as well. Because I felt good knowing that most of my friends were here for Mia. Most of my friends were here to celebrate Mia and to support her. And that was really, really good. But um, her birthday was great. She's trying to break the pair, but it, it doesn't really work like that. Here's Vanilla. The birthday was good. She got so many gifts. Um, her biggest gift was a card that her dad got her. I, bu I bought her a little verse that I think I'd shown you guys before. But the day itself was great. If I would change anything, I would entertain at home a different day than the day that we went to the aquarium because going outside and being outside in that heat one it tires you out on its own and then coming home and having to entertain two also tires you out i didn't get to buy the donuts for the donut stand even though it was so very cute it was a lot of things i didn't get to do but honestly the kids were very entertained all of those things made me feel like if i had all of those it would have been a bit much we didn't get the cake the day of her birthday but we ate and chilled and I cut the cake yesterday. I put her little outfit on yesterday and cut the cake yesterday. We ate so much and did so much to the point where it didn't even matter that the cake wasn't cut because her gifts took up a good portion of the day before um, my friend had to go back home to be traffic. And then, um, yeah, for the most part. Honey, no thank you. No thank you. That's right, put you far from the table, girl. I said no thank you. You know that no thank you means don't touch it. You know that no thank you means don't touch it, honey. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? So I have to strap you in. But yeah, it was great. So I'm going to pop pictures here and there of what it was to show you guys. The aquarium was great. I feel like um, Mia was looking at the stuff, but she was not like the most engaged because one, it's nice to see the stuff in the water, but she doesn't really know what's going on. When we were at the aquarium, <laughs> Most of the time, her godmother Jody had her. <laughs> Whenever we go anywhere, when Jody and I meet up with the kids, she acts like Mia is her child. <laughs> what can we do? But um, it was great. It was a great birthday. It was great. Yesterday, I had to go to a thing, and I couldn't even. I was so tired, I could not leave this apartment. Hi. <clears throat> so now I'm here. No more. More? <laughs> more? Honey, more? Do you want something else? Let's give her some blackberries. <laughs> I made a banana bread. It was great. I discovered that two of my friends do not like raisins. So I had to make banana bread half with raisins and half without because I quite like raisins in the banana bread. But it was a great day. I don't know if entertaining is my thing, but I don't know that it's not either. I just feel like the space is small. It's what it essentially came down to, because I feel like we're on top of each other. But the kids had a great time, and that was the important bit of it. But yeah, now I'm in the kitchen. Now I feel like things are back to... Hold on, what is your thing? And I've wiped it off so many times, I don't know. Now I feel like things are back to a normal sense of like, I'm in the kitchen making breakfast. Last night, I'm taking out the garbage and I hear this. I'm like, I know the only toy Mia has that makes that noise. So I feel the bottom of the bag. Sure enough, I feel one of this. So I feed it up to the top and I take it out. 
I'm like, okay, I tie the bag back up and I'm ready to go again. I pick the bag up again and I hear that again. And I'm like, she put two in there? This time I already tied up the top of the bag and everything. I had to tear a small hole and like squeeze the other one through it. She's in her, I'm throwing things in the garbage era. I'm stressed out because that can needs to be closed every single time or we're gonna lose stuff. Thank God they make noise because if they didn't make noise, I wouldn't have known that they were in the trash can. These were her favorite load of toys for a long, long time. I didn't even get to the point of like putting them and leaving them in the bath because she liked them outside of the bath. That's when I discovered that she likes anything that crinkles and makes noise. My roses that I bought for her birthday and just to have, because I feel like it's been a minute since I bought myself some roses too. Um, they, their heads are bowing. Not at all. Let's give them some fresh water and see. She's touching it. What do you think? Hey, 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 gentle. Not gentle. That was not gentle, honey. Not gentle, my love. Now that Mia is beginning to talk, I have to also uh, the day of her birthday. I was so emotional because I felt like I put, and I mean quite literally, I put my 11 month old to bed, and she woke up a one year old. So freaking emotional. I I felt all the feels because this is my baby, you know. Oh, seeing her grow up is so rewarding, but it's also kind of sad. I love her so much. And I think all that matters in the world is that she knows that, you know, mommy loves her. All right, so this is what they look like right now. We'll see if anything changes with them. Tomorrow I have a math quiz. I'm not very excited about it. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to just see how well I do. And, um, you know, that's, that's where we're at. I can't wait for math to be done. I just want to get a good period and for it to just be done and over because I can't. I still have the cheesecloth on the table. I feel like it's so pretty, especially for, like, the decor aspect of things. It made things feel so girly and so cute. I love it. But, um, I have that quiz, so I'm going over things for the quiz right now. I'm going to make myself some breakfast, maybe. <sighs> Egg and like some, I have some chicken patties up there. I'm gonna make a chicken patty and like egg sandwich. And it's gonna be breakfast. And then me and I are gonna go in the living room, not put Miss Rachel on for a little minute, just to have her explore all of the new things that she got. And yesterday she was doing that. My friend at work, Carnell, bought her like a little Montessori toy. She's gonna make noise when I leave. Uh, and Carnell always gets her really good toys. And yesterday she had this for about two hours trying to figure out how to get the stuff out of it. Auntie Jody got her this book. And I already have a book that is textured where she um she loves touching in it. Yesterday I was watching her and she was sitting down just skipping through the pages and touching the textured bits of it. But she got like, you know, other little things, the car. And it's a good thing that I didn't buy a lot of clothes for her in recent months because the only thing i've bought so far is pajamas and everybody knows that i love pajamas and they got her some pajamas as well so um see you guys later